Hey you guys, happy Saturday. So, I am over here at, uh, let me wait till this stops. Good morning, good morning. So I'm over here at Providence Hospital because I gotta get some blood work done, just like regular routine stuff. And I could have swore they said they had people who could do this on a Saturday. But when I went to the office, there wasn't anyone there, so they must be located in another area. I hate needles, so I'm not really mad. I'm not even really gonna put any effort into figuring out where I need to go <laughs> to get it done today. I'll call on, uh, I think they might be closed on Monday, maybe not, but I'll call them uh, during the weekday and figure out where I need to go. But in the spirit of what I do every morning, I am about to go and grab some coffee. I have been loving these uh, Starbucks coffees. Um, the holiday ones in particular the uh, eggnog is my favorite oh my gosh I love eggnog and I'm so glad that it's the time of the year where I can drink eggnog I almost feel like I need justification to drink it or to have it I don't even know if they sell it like throughout the year but I'm just so excited you know eggnog the holidays and all that good stuff and Kasha and I are going to be out and about today. I have quite a few errands I need to run. So I think I might take you all along with me for yet another random weekend. Okay, so I'm going to do a bit of a chit chat with you guys. So there's some things that are going on in Anchorage. Well, I think Alaska as a whole. And they might seem kind of petty and minimal to some of you um, that may be experiencing these things already but like one of them in particular is uh they put a ban on plastic bags disposable plastic bags so like if you go to the grocery store you either have to pay 10 cents for a bag or you have to buy one of those reusable bags and you know it's so crazy because I was a huge proponent of buying the reusable bags but I always freaking forget to bring them in with me. I don't get it. And I think it's because I have my handbag on me. Um, <clears throat> I think it's because I always have my handbag on me. So I don't think about grabbing a second or third bag to take along with me into the grocery store. Hold on. So yeah, it's kind of annoying, especially when you go to the grocery store so they have um, paper bags and one thing that I didn't think of before that I really do appreciate now is how durable the disposable bags were the paper bags pay 10 cents for it but it's kind of like falling apart depending on what you have inside as you're leaving the grocery store it's just complete it's crazy so what I've been doing is um, even if I have a full cart, if I forgot to bring in my reusable bag, I'm parking that cart and running out to the parking lot and grabbing those reusable bags because I'm not going to pay 10 cents and have my stuff falling all over the floor because the paper bag cannot, you know, sustain the amount of groceries or whatever that I have in there. So this is a little bit of a rant. Um, yeah, I'm not really feeling it. I mean, even if you go to JCPenney, it's the same thing. And this one lady had a really good point. She bought her husband a suit and they wouldn't even put like the suit or what do they call it? Like a disposable wardrobe bag over it or something. And maybe depending on the brand of suit you buy, <clears throat> they might come with the ones that are like, they might come with the reusable garment bag but that one did not and she was just she was hot and I get it because it was raining that day too so just be warned if you come up here you're gonna have to pay for your disposable bags your disposable grocery bags or if you have a bag bring it with you so yeah I don't know how many people know about that outside the state of Alaska I know that there are some companies that are kind of um, I think they're challenging that new law and they may be making some changes or adjustments to it. I don't know where they're at with that. And then another thing is I'm hearing rumors that they're going to get rid of the disposable straws 
and they're gonna go with the biodegradable so it'll be the um, paper the paper straws and Kasha and I went to 49th 49th State Brewery and um, they have the disposable straws I'm not a huge fan you know sometimes I nurse my drink and it'll be watered down by the time I finish it I don't want to finish my drink and there's like straw crumbs in the drink you know so be warned about that too some of the restaurants you go to you may end up drinking out of like paper straws and I know when we went to Florida that was the case we were drinking out of um, the paper straws and same thing they start falling apart before you even finish your drink and I already know somebody watching this video is gonna be like oh, why is she bitching and whining about this stuff it's so trivial you know in comparison to everything else that's going on with the state like how they're cutting funding for education do not get me started on that don't get me started on that and the guy who's the governor that's like pushing for all this stuff he used to be a freaking teacher I don't know there's some craziness going on with this thing but uh, I still love it I'm not going anywhere so um I'm debating I don't know if I want to have this Starbucks uh, holiday coffee or do I want to go to my usual spot to get coffee I am so undecided and I'm coming up on a crossroads here pretty soon I'm in the Midtown area um, I've had Starbucks like two days in a row though no three days in a row ever since I found out they had eggnog um, hmm. <laughs> I know I'm gonna have to edit the hell out of this video yeah so um, so we still haven't gotten like snowfall here on the ground I think I mentioned in a previous video is definitely on the mountains and even that is starting to melt so the weather here has been very odd this year and I know that there's um, one of my subscribers shout out to Michael Carson Michael I hope you're enjoying your trip up here I don't know if that's your real name but that's your YouTube name so I hope you're having a nice time um, this weather is not the usual so just so you know um, so there's probably still quite a few activities that you could participate in that you would um, maybe get a chance to enjoy in the summertime so I hope you're taking advantage of that okay I think I'm gonna go to my usual spot instead of going to um, instead of going to Starbucks so you know I'm seriously thinking about decorating for Christmas either this weekend or next weekend and typically as part of a tradition I grew up where we would decorate on Thanksgiving Day wait was it Thanksgiving Day or Black Friday no Thanksgiving Day we would put up the tree and the decorations and everything and my mom does a fantastic job of decorating my dad does a kick-ass job of decorating outside um, and they're not here so I kind of have to like I'm so glad this year I'm finally feeling the Christmas spirit because I had lost that um, you know being I was single for a while and then when I got married um, the person I was married to really was not into the holidays like that and so it kind of took the fun out of it you know I would still put up the decorations and everything and um, when I had Kasia of course you know we were baking cookies and you know that kind of stuff but her dad really wasn't a big fan of um, the holidays so I feel like this year I feel like a renewed excitement about the Christmas holiday so I can't wait to decorate and I'm so tempted to like decorate now <laughs> I kind of feel like I want to do that now and um, every year Kasha and I alternate who gets to pick like the theme this year this year I've decided because it's my turn uh, we're gonna go with gingerbread we're gonna go with gingerbread and I am just so excited to pull that together 
and if it looks cool I'll show you guys if it looks like crap mm -mm, you won't see that but yeah I am um, I'm thinking about going all out you know I might even get some Christmas curtains made um, I don't know we'll see but I have my decorations all you know like on my little not Pinterest board but kind of like I have like these little individual vision boards um, but I have it all laid out and we're gonna do like lots of baking and I'll just take that stuff to work and uh, you know listening to Christmas music and go around to like the different um, events they have here it's gonna be great I'm looking forward to it so yeah it's a foggy day foggy Saturday and that usually starts happening as it gets colder um, but still no snow I'm not mad I have to be honest I'm not mad one thing that I don't like is um, you know when it starts getting cold the ice that ice is problematic I think the snow is probably easier to deal with than the ice to be honest with you and the snow is actually really pretty but it's just the aftermath of when that stuff starts to melt and then it freezes again and it's just like I mean the first the first time that we get like a legitimate snowfall and then the days following you know as it's melting and freezing over melting and freezing over there's just so much anxiety you just have so much anxiety there it's just it's a lot to deal with but we're Alaskans we're tough you know we adjust we make it work so someone was asking me about the cost of living in Alaska and I think I maybe spoke to this at one point in time but I am gonna make a full-on legit video about that um, and oh and then somebody else was asking me about the crime up here and what I'll say is this um, you know growing up and I think people could say that for anywhere that's like in my generation growing up like back in the 80s and stuff you really didn't hear about crime as much as you do now happening in your area and like I said I think that goes for anywhere um, I don't know of anyone who has ever said crime has improved or you know has gone down significantly maybe some people live in those types of areas I've never heard anybody say that okay hold on I'm about to order my coffee happy Saturday how are you? <laughs> I'm great how are you good, good. yes ma'am I like your jacket it's so sunny like you I'm like on to summer like it is absolutely you know, not summer but yeah like <laughs> and you can almost fool yourself that it's not winter because right, we haven't gotten snow. any snow right. i'm not like, upset i'm not upset about that no, though I'm, I'm doing just fine. <laughs> right it's like keep up the good work alaska yes. <laughs> do you know if any other parts of alaska have gotten snow though i don't know i know it snowed in the valley a little while ago but i think it melted already oh wow okay okay yeah, as long as we have snow for Christmas. Yes, that's yeah, a requirement. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Do you guys do like an eggnog latte? We do. You do? Okay, because I haven't been here for a couple days, and that's because Starbucks has like an eggnog latte. I'm going to have to try that here next time. Okay, cool. All right, see ya. All right, y'all. I have so much energy and I have no idea. Well, I do know why. I think it's because all the adrenaline that was going because I was going to get my blood drawn. I'm telling y'all, it's like the struggle is so real. The anxiety is so real when it comes to me. I have to really like coach myself before I go and get blood work. It's crazy. And then like immunizations. And the thing is, I know that like I'm getting older and I more than ever, I mean, you want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself anyway. 
but I'm like, okay, I really need to make sure that I get this stuff done. And I was just so freaking freaked out about it. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just put myself on autopilot, sit down in the chair and let them do what they do. I'm driving, you know what? I'm thinking about it. I think it would have been nice to have captured like this um, Spinard area. Or I'm gonna do a video on Spinard for you. Spinard can be like one of those areas that's like a little seedy, seedy part of town. You know, people wanna talk about Mountain View and Fairview, but you really don't hear a whole lot about Spinard. Spinard, you might catch some hookers. You will catch some hookers walking down the street. You know, standing on the corner. It's real, they have pimps here. They have, you know, drug dealers and stuff, and you all probably heard about the meth epidemic. Epidemic. Up here. Um, but it's real. It's real out here in these streets of Anchorage. The thing is, though, I feel like, depending on the kind of person you are, is the type of experience you're gonna have in Alaska. Right? How's that saying go? Wherever you go, there you are. So if you're the kind of person that li likes to get caught up in nonsense, trust me, you can find it here. If you're the kind of person who's coming here, you want to work hard, you want to have a, a decent lifestyle, you know, live or whatever, you can do that here too. It's all about your mindset. So I know that people move here sometimes to get away from their problems and that's what people are kind of... Um, attributing to the rise in crime here I don't know if that's the case I mean maybe there's a lot more people here now than there was like 10 20 years ago but um if you come here just just know the experience you have is mostly based on like you you get to choose the type of experience you have here so I haven't tried this coffee yet. Let me try it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've been known to like turn my vehicle back around and get back in line if my coffee is not right. And thankfully, most of the time they get it right, I would say 95% of the time. Oh, so gotten comments like, oh, you're only showing the good parts of Anchorage and why don't you tell them what it's really like? Look, the places I go and how I live my life, that's what I'm showing you all, right? And I do want to give a holistic view of what it's like here. But people, a lot of times, when they tell their stories, it's from a, a point of reference of, you know, who they are and how they experience life. But, um... Yeah, I'll talk about that. And I actually know some people who um, are caseworkers, no, caseworkers, social workers that handle, especially like the family type stuff. You know, you do have the broken home situation. Um, alcoholism is pretty high here. Domestic violence is high here. I don't know in comparison to the rest of the United States though because I kind of feel like when they do the whole per capita thing it's really not a fair measurement because if we have significantly a lower a significantly lower population if you got two people living in an area one person commits a crime 50% of the people in an area committed a crime right Whereas if you have 10 people, it takes five times the number. I just don't understand the whole per capita thing. That's another rant. I won't get on that. But um, yeah, there are some things that can make your experience really crappy. And that's with anything and anywhere, you know. Okay, so since we're not doing the doctor thing today, I need to go and pick up some dry cleaning. And um, drop off some packages. Shout out to people who are like doing their Christmas shopping now or have already gotten it done. I salute you. I'm not that person. I've tried to be that person, but then, like, 
I don't know. I just, I need like the rush of adrenaline towards Christmas Eve, you know? Um, so we are planning to do some Black Friday shopping. I think that we might go to Seattle to get that done. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. But, uh, but, ara, ara. Yeah. Still in Midtown. If you come to Anchorage, Anchorage is just like a big square. It's so easy to learn your way around here. It's not difficult at all. I'm like, if you can drive in Seattle or Atlanta, this is like a piece of cake. I just wish it wasn't so foggy though. I'm not, not loving this. Mom, I'm on these slick, icy roads. I mean, some of these areas are shiny. I have one bar. Okay, you guys, look at this fog. Oh, that's famous footwear. Can't even tell. 